What's up, college football fans, quarterback fans? Welcome to a QB Spotlight video. In this video, we're talking about OU quarterback Dylan Gabriel. We're going to break down the fourth quarter drive. We're going to go through every pass play that he had in the fourth quarter and kind of break it down in a bit more detail and look at how, one, he was able to make that happen, and then, two, talk about the game a little bit and, and how they were able to pull out the win. If this is your first time tuning in the QB Spotlight channel, we thank you for coming in and, and watching. We're just a big quarterback hub. We spend time talking about quarterbacks from some film breakdowns like this to just previews and recaps and just any quarterback content that we actually just put out live from uh, kind of recapping and the instant reaction to quarterback play from the week six matchup. So Dylan Gabriel, let's talk about Dylan Gabriel real quick before we actually get into the the uh, the film that we're going to watch. And if this is your first time tuning in or you watched this before, please like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. I'm real bad at, uh, at trying to get people to do that, but it does help the channel. So all right, with that said, Dylan Gabriel. And we really just talked about him in our, in our live show, but I, I'll kind of repeat it and do it again here briefly before we dive into the film. But great example of just finding a way to win. Finding a way when offensively stuff that, you know, is your identity, play action passes, uh, explosive play, stuff that's really not working as well as, you know, it has been the past few games. Finding a way to get get around that and, and, and win. And, and we talked about in the pregame, kind of the keys to win was Dylan Gable and his legs. We thought he would have to use his legs a lot to to beat Texas in the pass rush. And, well, he used it more than we anticipated, right, with over 100 yards uh, on the ground. He was 22, 23 of 38 passing for 25, one touchdown, 113 yards pass, uh, rushing, and a touchdown. That last touchdown came not only on that last drive, but came under pressure, came with Texas having a lot of pressure, which we'll get into here in a second. So the uh, other takeaways for from Gabriel before we get into the film is how different the offense had to be and. and I saw a good tweet. I talked about this in the live that it, he didn't necessarily have his a game today, right? Like there, there were some throws that he usually makes that he missed, but at the same time he made some really good throws, but he really had to like go to his legs, had to find another way to went, beat Texas. So those can be the best type of games where, Hey, you're not hitting on all cylinders all the time as offense. And, yeah, a lot of that's due to Texas and their, and their solid defense, but you still found a way to win. Those can be the best type uh, of games whenever things aren't going your way all the time. Only had one big explosive play. Only had two attempts of the of uh, twenty yard or the ball thrown twenty yards more downfield and only completed on one of them. A lot of the yards, a lot of the passing plays were just short stuff. Like sixteen of his twenty three completions were thrown nine yards or shorter. Right. Usually the offense, the OU offense, yeah, you have a lot of quick stuff, but you're pushing the ball downfield. Like he had 13 or 14 passes completed up to this game of, of the ball throwing 20 yards or more in the air. So just a different type of offense they had. And another interesting stat was coming into the game, of all the dropbacks, 58% of the passes were off play action. Well, this game was 58% of the straight dropback, so not play action. They couldn't utilize play action as successfully as much as they had in the past games. And that's something we talked about in the pregame was if Texas takes away that ability to use play action, can they beat you, beat you that way? And what, three of those completions, all, actually all completions in the last drive came off just dropping straight back and, 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 and having to sling the ball. So really good job by Gabriel. Uh, distribute the ball all over the field, outside the numbers, between the numbers, force Texas to defend the whole field. I think that's something else that, that was um, beneficial for, for Gabriel and OU as well. So with that said, let's dive into some of this film. And before we look at the film, it is broadcast footage, so I do apologize. Don't get too too mad at me. It's not great. It's kind of grainy if you listen on all twenty two. So I do apologize, but I think it can get, at least get the uh, get the point across here. And I kind of have to do it slow uh, for the simple fact YouTube gets mad at me when I use film. So we'll see if they if they like this or not. All right, so this is the first pass play. There's a buck. There's a what one seventeen left. It's thirty twenty seven right now in the fourth quarter. You can see Texas. Uh, they have two high top safeties essentially but you have to the field side you have off coverage and you see boundary side there's not a receiver right now boundary side meaning let's see i'll let it play for a little bit okay doesn't work boom boom middle of the field able to hit him in a tight space right so let me go back just a little bit if this will catch will catch okay yeah so here we go i i missed it that's what that confused me all right so you got a guy coming in motion here right and then you got a lot of off coverage right here. Oh, he just came from motion. I apologize. But you don't have a split out receiver. You get a lot of off coverage. That's something Texas did. And he was able to get Gabriel was able to hit middle of the field actually on two of these throws. But first play here, looking, looking, looking. Good job protecting. Texas only had three here. They dropped eight back. And you can see, boom, good ball in the tight space here for the first completion. That got you going. 
that was what that took you three seconds right there the clock stops able to get up field and then go again so middle of the field throw they dropping back a lot of off coverage eight guys or eight dbs that you had to account for so good job by gabriel there but you, you'll notice here that to the boundary side they're playing one type of coverage and the field side they're never another type of coverage so look field side here look how off it is and then you see boundary side the, the the corner is what five yards closer than boundary side and you can see that arrow is where he's going to go with the ball but you'll see how off texas is and this is a really long throw for gabriel too on this this throw outside the, the the numbers here which we just showed look look off coverage off coverage off coverage look at all that off coverage right now it's okay for texas but there might be i mean maybe i've given him too much off coverage a quarterback like like gabriel right so again off coverage able to hit him you see he had him here, right, potentially, but the ball went to the outside receiver, outside the numbers, boom, and then missed tackle. Let's see, yep, missed the tackle there, able to get up past the 50-yard line. So in two passes, you literally have, I don't know if you can see the clock, but you literally had 15 in 15 seconds, you were past the 50-yard line. So you're in good position. Like Even like right now, all I needed was a field goal. Like they weren't having to rush anything. Now, this is the play that that led them to say, hey, let's score and win this thing. This was the play to Drake Stoops going over the middle of the field. Now, Texas brings four here. You can see how, how off they are, and you're going to see in a second. Let's see if I show it here. You're going to see the safety drop. Ah, there's there's the, the, the four guys coming. You'll see the deep guys, but you'll see the safety on the snap of the ball drop back. But look right here. This is what I'm showing you. Yeah, so safety is going back. Look at field side. You see the press coverage at the bottom of the screen. And then boundary side, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, boundary side, you see press coverage. Field side is when you see all the off coverage. So now it's the office of the past two throws, right? Again, boundary side, press coverage, or a little more man action. Field side, you have some type of off coverage zone here. Right there, there's the man coverage. Snap of the ball. You see the safety going straight back. Uh, it's off the screen, but safety's going straight back. This safety's kind of playing like a robberish approach. He's kind of coming in the middle of the field, but Stoops gets behind him. There's pressure. Gabriel is able to get through pressure, eyes downfield, and this is where he hits Stoops. Boom. That's the play right there. But you notice the safety is so far deep, covering a different route, that uh, they're able to get upfield. So great job there by Dylan Gabriel. And then after this, yeah, so this, this is another, this is, it doesn't even count as a pass, but it's pass interference. So I still wanted to show it. Uh, you had pass interference right here. Boom, top of the screen. Boom, pass interference. So that leads you down into, okay, like we're in a great position, right? So, so this play, after that play, you had Dylan Gable with a run. Gets inside the five-yard line. Again, no timeouts. The clock is going. I got a fly in my face. I apologize. Uh, no timeouts here. Now this pressure gets here. And then you throw a touchdown pass with pressure here. So let's break it down in a bit more detail here. And we can see, I'll show a line right here. As, as DBs, you're taught in college, at least I was, that, you know, and, and when you're in goal to go, essentially, like your heels start in the goal line. You, like you don't want to give up anything uh, until you come to the goal. Your heel is on the goal line, then you go. And like the broadcast was saying, there was some type of, there was some type of miscommunication for Texas here. Uh, but right now, guys open, right? You see the DBs here. Uh, that guy gets open. The DBs here are looking at Gabriel, looking at Gabriel. Totally, totally lost him before. What, Anderson, right, uh, in the corner end zone. You see pressure coming in on Gabriel right now. Snap the ball. Like, if he takes this sack, but second goal, if he takes this sack, you have to get up, spike it, and then run your field goal unit out there to, to kick it, right? So, big time play. Pressure. Look at that pressure. Throws the ball like that, right? Again, not a lot of room for error. And then open receiver on that miscommunication for um for texas there so those are kind of ah, gotta fly and apologize but again not the all 22 it would have been a little bit better or easier to explain and able to show the coverages if it was all 22 but i think it still is a decent job getting the point across texas was, was, was off type of coverage whatever that coverage was they were off coverage on the field side boundary side a little bit closer to have that man type of defense and you saw every throw was to the field side slash middle of the field. Like every throw was to where the off coverage was. He's able to hit that. And then of course the touchdown at the end with pressure. So just, just a quick breakdown over that fourth quarter drive uh, for Dylan Gabriel. Again, one of the best drives of the, of the season that, that this drive will, will live in for uh, the Red River shootout history, right? One of the best drives in Red River history. So with that said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below about Gabriel's performance, the game performance. Again, if you like this type of breakdown of this video, like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. It really does help. And uh, yeah, that's all we got for today. We'll see you next time.